Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a project um, with my Wild Hair Kits October kit um, and the challenge for this month um, was created by Kira and Tashiana and it from the design team and it is this 30 days of thankful. Um, so I thought I'd have a go. I'm not normally someone who does anything in traveller's notebooks but I thought considering how this is 30 sort of small ways to say thank you for things including significant others, clothing, appliances, places, routines, I thought I would do it in a traveller's notebook. Now as I don't have any because I'm not a frequent traveller notebooker I decided to make my own. So I've used some photo, not photo paper, um, basic printer paper. Um, this was A4 printer paper and I've cut it down to 8 by 8 um, and just folded it in half. I would use a bone folder but I can't find mine so I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> That's a bit annoying actually because it's part of my envelope punch board and I can't find it so it's really annoying. Um, anyway so I'm going to add a cover and then I'm going to do a stitched, um, what is this called down here? Hmm binding, stitched binding, that's my intention anyway, we'll see how that pans out. So um, as this was 8x8, eight eight, what I think I'm going to do is make it slightly wider than 8x8, eight 8.5, eight. Eight shall I do 8.5, maybe 8 and a quarter, hmm. I'm going to cut it 8.5 and, and see how we get on, so this paper is, I can't remember what paper this is actually, um, this is Pink Paisley Pick Me Up Collection Paper 19. Now I don't really like the inside, but I did like the outside quite a bit. So I'm gonna do eight and a half because I can always make it smaller. Mm, I'll just do eight and a quarter in length, I think. So I'm not that fussed if the length, maybe I do, maybe I could do that on the outside. Mm. Right, I'm gonna fold this in half anyway. So if it was eight and a half, I can't do basic maths. That'll be four and a quarter, won't it? Um, so let me just, I don't have like a scoring thingy, so I'm just going to lift this up and just, that will help a little bit seeing as I don't have a bone folder. <laughs> wow, I did it perfectly. Did I cut through it though? I feel like maybe I've cut through it. <laughs> now I love this side. It's just gorgeous and bright and colourful and let's just see how that is when it goes inside it. Yeah, look, that's all right, isn't it? And it's got a bit of scope for if it gets bulky because it's got the edge there. And then I don't dislike that bit there. I mean, what I could do is I could add in some vellum maybe and um, that might be nice. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, going to add a few bits of vellum into this as well. I've got exactly the right amount of pages, but a few vellum pages might be good. So, luckily I have some nearby. Maybe I'll just do three lots of vellum and I can spread it out between these. So I'm going to cut these again to eight by eight. Always ends up being like a little, when I do any of these chatty videos, this has the potential to go well or it could be absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, right, let's just make sure it's on the eight. There we go. I love this trimmer so much such an awesome trimmer. Do you ever feel that way about a trimmer? It's a weird thing to feel emotionally attached to but <laughs> I love it. There we go, sorry, can't talk and cut apparently. <laughs> right, so if I fold these in half, I'm kind of excited by this, it's very different for me see how this goes down right okay so I'm thinking about kind of spreading these through so I've got I think I've got like nine pages so if I do it like every three I'm gonna stick a vellum one in Ooh, spicing it up a bit what I should probably take some pages out because I'm gonna be a bit over page wise but living dangerously and all that and then I might just stick that one in the middle. There, I mean, could be a good idea, could be a terrible idea, but you don't know until you try, do you? So, right. So I've got those there. If 
I just put these in now I'm guessing I'm gonna need to do hmm I don't really know how to stitch this so if I have two ends right I'm just gonna poke some holes and we're gonna see what happens this could go terribly terribly wrong as I've mentioned previously <laughs> right so I've got one of these pokey Tim Holtz thingies okay let's see what happens I mean you'd think I would have tried this beforehand but you know it's more fun when it's live isn't it now what I should have is probably something to poke this into but I don't so one down that end and then one about here yeah I think so and then it seems to make sense to me to have so if I come up through there then kind of like ugh, down through there up through there down through there no because I want to come down through that one so I need to get two two more in I reckon I can if I do so if I go up down up down, oh, down, and there, oh, and then I'll do an up, and then a down, and then I should be able to tie the ends to make a ribbon. That's the plan, anyway. Let's see how this works, shall we? <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Right, so I'm going to go and thread a needle, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've actually done it, I think. So I've done exactly what I said, I went up through this hole, over, down through that hole, back up through this hole, down, along and back up, um, and then down here. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is tie this lot into a little bow, so that it looks kind of cute. I've got way too much embroidery thread, but I don't care. <laughs> Gonna trim that off there so I used a green embroidery thread I tried to use the twine but it, I didn't have a needle big enough to handle that now I want to make it look pretty but at the same time I don't want to tie it too tight so it affects the shape of the album or the notebook so that's too tight isn't it I think I think that that might be slightly too tight I don't know how I feel about that either like in my mind it looks cute but I'm not sure if in reality it does I'm wondering if I kind of I could always tie stuff to it to make it look cute couldn't I potentially if I just do a double knot And then if I just trim that off, trim that off, there. And then we've got all of these cute pages. Oh, what is that? Nice. Probably a chocolate, something to do with a chocolate button. <laughs> Highly likely. Got to have chocolate buttons around, don't you? For emergencies. Okay, so I might put on here with some stickers, 30 days of thankful. days of thankful hope that wasn't too painful to watch thank you for watching there'll be probably some follow-up videos with some of this filled in using my um, October kit um, thanks for watching see you in my next video bye <laughs>